Do you want to learn about insider trading in the real estate industry? Check out this video. I'm Jim Fong. I'm an investor and realtor in Las Vegas, and I help my clients find good investment opportunities. And today I'm talking about, uh, we're calling it insider trading in the real estate industry, but why do people do insider trading? All right, well, it's illegal, right? Because, you know, that it has to do with more like the stock market and stuff. Like, you know, you've heard stories of like, you know, Elon Musk sells a bunch of Tesla stock and then it dips the next day. Like that's kind of insider type trading, right? And I'm relating it to real estate by talking about when realtors buy and sell properties, all right? If you're looking to know where the market's headed, you should kind of, you know, follow the lead of experienced professionals in the industry, right? So, I mean, if we, if we go all the way back to during the mortgage crisis, like in the 2007, 2008, things like that. Well, most savvy investors sold in like 2006 already, all right? The people left holding the bag were just a lot of, you know, first time home buyers, people that didn't fully understand about mortgage and all that kind of stuff. So they got stuck with the short sales and the foreclosures and things like that. Most investors and realtors, they got out ahead of time, all right? so. That's why it's required by law for realtors to disclose when they are actually the person selling the property, right? It's assumed that a realtor would know more than the average person, right? The general population is probably not so in tune with what's happening in the real estate industry. So it's like when they list and sell a home, they have to disclose that, right? All right, have you ever seen a home for sale and it has this sign in it too? Well, the reason is in the state of Nevada and some other states, it's required that all realtors or real estate license sees they have to disclose that they're an agent when they're selling their own property all right so if you're curious where the real estate industry is headed or what's going to happen with the market you know i would suggest paying attention to what real estate professionals and you know savvy investors are doing right because for example last year i sold one of my own properties i had to put one of those owner agent signs out on the street right but the reason being is i knew in 2022 that was kind of like a peak of the market right and that's why i sold one of my properties right to try to really, you know, sell high, right? But now we're going into 2023 now, and it's looking like it might be an opportunity to buy. So it's important for you to kind of pay attention to what real estate professionals are doing and savvy investors are doing, because that's going to be the greatest indication for you. I mean, there's so much information these days with the internet, social media, and all that. You know, for every argument about the market crashing, there's another argument, equal or more articles written by people saying, oh, it's the first company you better start buying right now. So, you you know, follow the money and follow when real estate professionals and investors are actually buying. That's going to give you the best indication, all right? You don't want to be too behind everywhere because by the time everyone knows it's a good deal, it's going to be too late already. All right, so whether you're thinking to buy or to sell, you should definitely consult with your realtor, all right, or an experienced real estate agent that would give you real sound advice, not just one that gets a deal done, but actually, what is that agent planning on for themselves? That's a good indication whether you should buy or sell, I think, all right? So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and like and check out my other videos, all right? Thanks for watching.